I'm 47, and I remember the Jonestown mass suicide in Guyana. Uh, a lot of people like to show images of all the dead people superimposed over Jim Jones's droning, highly seductive and magnetic voice uh, playing over those dead bodies. When does a cult become a cult? When does just a group of idealistic individuals turn into a cult? Well, in my opinion, the first thing is you have to have a guru. When you have adherents that don't fully understand the thinking behind it, and they require a guru to do their thinking for them. In other words, there's an objection to my beliefs that I can't really overcome, so I have to go to the guru to get him to help me deal with my own doubts or my own misunderstanding of my own beliefs. Uh, it's known sort of in yoga circles as guruitis. You say that you believe something, but you don't really believe it or you don't really grasp it intellectually, so you need somebody else to explain your own beliefs to you. That's handing an enormous amount of power to someone else. That's handing more power to someone else than is held in the hands of the most ruthless police state. You've essentially said to somebody else, you have the power of reality over me. Whatever you say is real, I will believe. If I have problems with my thinking, if I need assistance, I go to you and you explain it to me. And even if I don't understand it, my mind is eased because obviously, since you believe it, that's you as the guru believe it, I'm happy, I'm satisfied. My doubts are dispelled. I don't understand what the logic is behind my doubts being dispelled, but a meeting with the charismatic guru has taught me that, um, that everything is okay, has convinced me intuitively perhaps emotionally, that everything is all right. problem with that is, of course, when the guru says, drink this grape juice, you drink it. <laughs> um, the second element of cultism, if you ask me, is in its advanced stages, it takes on the dimensions of fighting the forces of darkness. More important than actually spreading good is fighting the forces of darkness because they're coming to get us. Those evil forces of darkness. We've built this paradise, or we could build this paradise on earth if it wasn't for those evil forces of darkness, whoever they might be. Skeptics or uh, the government or whoever. Other religious groups. Um, false prophets. Cults just love their false prophets denouncing each other. Sometimes uh, things take on the dimensions of the Salem witch trials. Sometimes things take on the dimensions of mass hysteria against uh, the most trivial and imagined uh, conspiracies or threats to the belief system. Anything can become a cult. You can be uh, dogmatic and fanatical about absolutely anything. Um, it's been dealt, dealt with thoroughly in literature where politics can become a cult. Uh, George Orwell is the great exemplar of that. Um, where um, just society itself can become a cult. The Lord of the Flies. Uh, where um, uh, the cult can actually um, be a religious thing and we're thoroughly familiar with that sort of thing. Um, or, as I say, in its most lethal forms, um, the cult can be um, a calculated plan to eliminate as many bad people as possible, where something like Marxism became a source of religious fanaticism in, uh, in say, Stalin's USSR, or um, in its most virulent, violent form in uh, Pol Pot's democratic Kampuchea, the Khmer Rouge. Um, for some reason, these cults always sort of uh, try to build perfection on Earth. When perfection doesn't happen, they decide it's a conspiracy. Once they decide it's a conspiracy, heads start to roll. 
Jim Jones was a really good example of that, and he's a really good example of what people don't under, understand about the true nature of power. Power is an illusion. Power is a spell that you cast over someone else with the force of your personality. Power is something that you... Uh, I would say that, that the person who has power is more of a pickpocket than, um, than an uh, overt coercer with a gun in his hand. He starts to exert power over you without you even realizing it or knowing it, and perhaps even if you do know it, you want that person, that guru, that leader, to exert power over you. Thank you.